Hey everybody, it's Lon Seiben and we're back with the Western Digital MyCloud and the reason is that a lot of people have been asking me about the performance of the drive. I showed how it works but not about how fast it might be and I wanted to uh, do that for you because I had a lot of people asking. So uh, here it is uh, hooked up right now. We have it connected via gigabit ethernet to a uh, TP-Link switch which is down below there. Uh, it's a gigabit switch and uh, we have our stock uh, ethernet cable that this thing came with and uh, my Mac is connected with a Cat5e cable and a Thunderbolt to Ethernet adapter. And what we're running is uh, the Blackmagic speed test. And what this uh, application is for is for testing the performance of video uh, drives or drives for recording video. So as you can see here, we're not going to do much better than, than low def for recording, but that's actually not a surprise for me. Um, I am actually impressed with the speed that we're getting. So uh, it's writing to the drive at about 25 to 28 megabytes per second. Uh, that translates to, you know, if we'd say 25 megabytes per second, about 200 megabits per second. So uh, we're not, of course, writing very fast, but uh, the read speeds were really good. Uh, we're getting, uh, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit of a hit here, but I've been seeing it as high as 68 megabytes per second uh, and as low as around 50. So um, if you're, you know, looking at like 60 megabytes per second, that's about 480 megabits per second of read speed. And if you get as high as the high that I saw earlier of 68, uh, you're looking at about 544 megabits per second, about half of what that uh, gigabit Ethernet uh, connection can support. And uh, these benchmarks are often hard to do because there's so many variables. There's cable length and switches and all that kind of stuff. So this is a pretty good uh, vanilla benchmark of what you can expect. And, you know, a read speed between 55 and 65 megabytes per second is really, really good, especially if you have multiple uh, people hitting the drive for video streaming and that kind of thing. So I'm very happy with those speeds. I think it's really decent. And a lot of folks did write in to say that, well, it's really lousy on my, on my network. And uh, a lot of times when people are streaming over wireless, you're going to see a variety of different performance levels. And there's so much that goes into that. How far away you are from the access point, uh, what kind of wireless connection do you have, how much interference are you getting. There's a whole uh, host of problems that happen there. Even like the newer wireless N, which is a lot faster, uh, the speed degrades the further you get away. So, um, you know, it's, it's often tough uh, to get these things working properly, or at least getting them working very fast over wireless. And I would say that uh, the best way to use this thing, especially if you want to get uh, the full performance that you just saw here, uh, is to connect it via uh, gigabit ethernet. But I'm pretty impressed with how it's working. I've been running this test now for the last 20 minutes or so, and it's, uh, it's been holding up uh, quite well. So um, no complaints there. So yeah, so I mean, I think it's good. I mean, it's certainly a lot less, uh, you know, in involved in ha having a PC dedicated to serving files in your home network. And I like the compatibility and it's really, uh, it's been a ni nice little addition to uh, my home network here. This is Lon Sivan and thank you for watching.